cough, fever, nasal congestion or runny nose, even some shortness of breath. The symptoms can be either what we call upper respiratory tract symptoms, kind of up here, or lower respiratory tract symptoms. Those symptoms can potentially progress into things like bronchitis or pneumonia. And of course, you've got to contract it from someone is, who is sick and has the virus. Number one, it can happen through secretions directly from that person who is sick. They're coughing and sneezing, and those particles can make you sick also. If somebody is sick who's touched, you know, objects, etc., and you have contact with surfaces um, or touching that person or shaking someone else's hand, that can also cause the spread prevention. Probably one of the most important things here. All right, first thing is hand washing. Wash those hands. The other thing is really minimize touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Why? Because that can be a conduit for which uh, viruses and even potentially bacteria and other infectious agents can get into your body. Avoid that. Um, and the other thing too is, of course, avoid people who are sick. Is there a vaccine? No, we do not have a vaccine against human metanumavirus. Do we have a medication treatment? We do not have an antiviral medication to treat this virus. Remember, human metanumavirus is a virus, okay? We don't have an antiviral that specifically targets this virus, all right? Uh, however, we do have medications that can help treat symptoms you may have uh, as a result of getting the virus. And that's one of the things that's really important.